Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, some fragrances that I got from Candle Science and these, many of them, are some of my best sellers but I'm sharing them with you because in the review section of these fragrances, they often get a bad rap and that is because a lot of the reviewers think that the fragrances do not smell like what Candle Science is advertising them to be. However, if you miss out on these fragrances, I can almost guarantee you that you're going to be missing out on a lot with some of them. If you can basically think a little bit creatively and out of the box, you will be able to get some fantastic sellers out of these fragrances. Um, so anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, consider subscribing and tapping the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you whenever I post a new video. And let's get right into today's video. Okay, so the first one of these fragrances is called frankincense and myrrh and if you know anything about frankincense and myrrh it has a very herbaceous like fresh but very medicinal almost um spiritual medicinal smelling fragrance to it and this candle science scent it does not smell in my opinion anything like frankincense and myrrh um i mean you get like a little bit of the frankincense to it but it's very, this scent almost reminds me of like a memory, like in a beautiful way, but it's like its own aesthetic. And that is exactly how I describe it to my clients. So I do market this one as Frank and Mr. Murr is what the name of it is. I will make clear to my customers that it's not a typical frankincense and myrrh, if you're familiar with the incense, which my customers are. Um, the, it's very different than that and I will go on about how, you know, what the notes are but also that it is like its own aesthetic and so I kind of play into that whole vibe um, with it being like a memory and an experience like that. Uh, but to me it just smells like a, like a holiday memory and it has such a beautiful unique fragrance to it and some of my customers, this is their absolute favorite scent and they will come and just buy like five of these in whenever the candle scent is in stock. Um, but anyway, that is the first one, frankincense and myrrh. Okay, and then the next one I'm gonna do is called patchouli. And this one really takes the cake um, because this fragrance, if you're familiar with patchouli, it has a lot of patchouli in it, but it is not a straight patchouli by any means. The way I describe it to my clients, and by the way, this is one of my best sellers of all time, but if I sold this as patchouli, um, it just wouldn't work. I would have customers coming to me and saying, you know, this isn't just patchouli or this is, you know, it just wouldn't work for my clients personally. Um, but. I describe it as like a witch's brew um, because you get so much like cinnamon and spice and you get patchouli, but it's like a cauldron. Um, it's like a witch's brew. It's better than any witch's brew fragrance, by the way, that I have ever smelled. Um, but I call mine cauldron and I market it as a witch's brew, not as a patchouli. Okay, and the third one is a category, and these fragrances, I would say, actually several of them are decent sellers for me, um, but I have five different ones in this category. If you all haven't noticed, I pretty much own all of Candle Science's fragrances. Um, so we have Wild Rose, Citrus Agave, um, Strawberry Guava, Honeydew Melon, and pineapple sage in this category. And what I would say about all of these is 
that they have a very candy-like, almost gummy bear, like a very candy-like fragrance to them. Um, and if your clients like that, I know, for example, Memory Box Candle Company, I believe markets the citrus agave as her snack box candle, and it's very popular for her. Um, the strawberry guava and the pineapple sage, the pineapple sage does very well for me. Um, I market this one as island smudge, but I make very clear to my clients that it's not like a typical sage. It has sage in it, but there's a lot of sweet notes to it so that the sage is very, very uh, much in the background and you get a lot of pineapple, you get a lot of sweet tropical notes. And your clients, as long as it's described accurately, um, and that's kind of with the understanding that scent is also um, very personal, right? So everyone has their own biases on fragrance. It's, it's not like, when I say accurately, I mean, it's always good to look at the reviews of any fragrance and see what the general like consensus is on the reviews, but then also taking your own assessment in and kind of balancing those two things together when you're making your descriptions for your clients is the route that I usually take with my candles. Um, but anyways, all of these fragrances in this group, I would say, um, are really good if you're looking for something that is more like a candy or something that's sweeter, um, but they're not true to life, in my opinion, um, to what their names are. And the next one is Banana Nut Bread. And this one might uh, take some of you by surprise because it is one of Candle Science's best sellers. Um, it's very, very popular. Um, it's one of my best sellers as well. Um, but my recommendation um, is because of the fact that this fragrance to me and to a lot of other people from what I've heard from my clients before I started mixing it and from what um, the reviewers, sometimes you'll see on Candle Science, they often say, this fragrance smells very much like a banana cream pie. You don't get a lot of the bread notes to it. Um, at least I don't, and a lot of other people don't. Um, but if you take Sugar Cookie by candlesandsupplies.net, I think, um, I'm gonna put it in the description box below, and mix like two parts of this and one part sugar cookie, absolute bestseller. Um, that is my banana bread candle, and it is so, so popular. Um, it just adds that bread. Like, you don't want just the pudding. You want the bread with the bananas. And that is the fragrance that, to me, does it. Um, you can also use, like, very vanilla from Candle Science, or you can use, there's lots of other ones, but basically something that has that bread element to it is what people will just die for when they are ordering a banana bread candle from you and you deliver like that. The last one is one that is going to maybe blow your mind a little bit, um, but I promise you, you have to try it before you can judge. Um, this fragrance used to be sold under the name Palo Santo, and I believe Candle Science has now rebranded it to Saffron Cedarwood. Um, but this scent, so originally I bought it and I was really disappointed because like many other uh, people who buy from Candle Science, I was wanting, I was so excited when they came out with a Palo Santo and I could not wait to smell like Palo Santo fragrance oil, but it smelled nothing like Palo Santo. Um, however, when I was able to step back and just like think about it as not being attached to Palo Santo, but just as its own independent entity, I realized that this fragrance is literally like the perfect mahogany and teak wood. Um, like if you've tried Flaming Candles um, mahogany and teak wood or Cal Can uh, Cali Candle Supply, California Candle Supply, those are like the runner ups, but this Candle Science scent takes the cake. Um, for a just stunning, stunning, stunning uh, mahogany and teakwood fragrance. If you can get past what they're selling it as, it is a stunning androgynous to masculine leaning mahogany and teakwood um, fragrance. 
Well, that is all for today's video. I hope that you were able to enjoy watching this and have some creative ideas. Um, comment down below which of these fragrances you're most looking forward to trying or which one you think would appeal most to your clients. Um, and I'm curious what you would name some of these fragrances. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you all in the next one. Happy candle making.